We're told a grasshopper is on a milkweed plant and hops from one leaf to another that has the same height. So if this is one leaf here, there's another leaf over here that's the same height. I probably should have done that in some type of green color. And then we have a grasshopper. Uh, this is the grasshopper right over here. And the grasshopper jumps from one leaf to the other. Here is a graph of the function g that models the grasshopper's height from the first leaf in centimeters g of x in time from the first leaf in centimeters g of x so the height is in centimeters over time in tenths of a second so this is tenths of a second identify the meaning of the point 3 comma 7 so pause this video think about it and then we'll think about it together all right so 3 comma 7 means after 3 tenths of a second so after 3 tenths of a second, I could write it like this, 3 tenths of a second, this is telling us that the grasshopper is 7, it tells us that it's in centimeters, the y-axis. So after 3 tenths of a second, the grasshopper, I'll use gh for short, is 7 centimeters in the air. And it looks like that's the peak height that the grasshopper actually achieves. So in this drawing right over here, this height right over there is, so if we call these two leaves even, it's going to be seven centimeters above either of the leaf. Now it's important to keep in mind that this axis right over here is time, it's not distance. So we actually don't know how far apart these leaves are. All we know is it took a little under six tenths of a second for the grasshopper to get from here to here, but we know what the height was at any time, and that maximum height was seven centimeters, or at least seven centimeters above either of the leaves because they're at the same height.